Hey, what's going on, y'all? So today I am testing a bunch of all the things I got around the house um, that I had set up to stream. I got a lapel mic, you know, all my cameras and all that stuff. And um, I just kind of felt like I was reinventing the wheel. So a lot of that stuff I, I, I stopped on. But I just wanted to see. I wanted to see what it all sounded like and all of that stuff. So um, what a better way to op or opportunity than to use than to showcase the S2400. Um, for those that don't follow me on um, Facebook, um, this is probably the funnest piece of equipment. It doesn't have the most capabilities. I'll be honest with you, it doesn't have the most capabilities. But this is by far the most fun device to work on of my units. I got a 1000, um, a 2000, um, that's as far as the NPCs, I'm sorry, 1,000, 2,000, a Forest Alive, used to have a Wren. Um, by far my most fun piece of equipment to work on. Um, everybody knows I'm a, I'm a dog guy. Uh, I prefer to, to work in a dog because all the capabilities. But like I said, this is by far the most fun piece to work on. Uh, the very first piece of equipment I ever, ever bought was uh, an SB1200 uh, from a, a, a guy that I, I knew who uh, he thought he was getting over on me. It wasn't working. He didn't tell me it wasn't working. But I just called a friend of mine back home in Milwaukee and asked him what was going on. He sent me a 1200 disc, you know, the disc, you got the initializing disc, and it worked. And then he wanted to buy it back from me. Yeah, that shit was whack. <laughs> but. Yeah, you see, I didn't say friend because he tried to get over on me. That's all right, though, because I ended up selling to him for double. But um, so we are going to go ahead and use this opportunity to break down some of the qualities about the 2400 and show you what I'm talking about. OK, if you haven't followed me on Facebook, a one made the beat. There is a lot of things that I do um, on there with the 2400 so you can see how to use it. I think this is by far the best device out period to make samples, not chop samples, to make your own samples. The sound that you get from this device is amazing. Um, how when I use complete control, which I have up and uh, a couple of effects and I actually put it in here for the live looper, the samples that I make are amazing. They sound amazing. Um, so this time I'm actually doing a sample track. Okay. The sample track, uh, I chopped up a sample. I use Serato. Let me back up. So the 1200 trick that everybody talks about is when you sped it up really fast and you sampled in and you can get in like, like a minute and three seconds of a record. Okay. If you sped it up on 45, and then you could just slow it down. Then you had all those pieces to chop. All right. Same thing. But that was the trick of that grit and that, that grunge that everybody liked in the 1200. That was the trick. You can do the same thing. It doesn't quite have the exact same warmth, but it's close. It's close. You get the bit reduction uh, with the balance of the, the um, sample rate. And it works. So that's what we did. We used that for that. And then I put it in there. I chopped it up, played a couple things, put it together. Um, and let me get to the sample. So this was the first sample I did. Right? That was the second one. So I did this intentionally for them to sound like that, okay? Shout out to TrackLib, that's where I got it from. See what I'm saying? Hey. And then from there, I resampled it using the live looper. And I sent it through my S2400. And I did some things to it so that I can get a bass line with it using the same sample. Here we go.
Okay. Then from there, I took a drum loop. Okay. Now I didn't use the whole loop. I just took a couple pieces of it and pieced it together like that. Um, and I'm probably going to go in there and mess with the drum some more uh, just to fill them out. Ain't no probably. I know I am. But I chopped that up. Put a lot of swing on it. Now, there's some effects going on. Because I got it running through my uh, Apollo console. And I got my effects and stuff set up on it. And things like that. So, that's what you're hearing. Let me turn that off. So that you can hear what it sounds like without the effects. I ooze 90s. I ooze 90s. <laughs> I, I ooze it. Alright. So anyway. So now let's unmute that. Put it all together. Let's turn that bass down a little bit. Now I'm trying to find something to go with it. And that's why I have complete control up with Apollo running in it. I don't think there's anything in this kit that I wanted. Yeah, I'll try that. Let me see. Let's go ahead, let's put that in the live loop. Let's sample that in. But I'm not going to just sample like a straight sampler. I'm actually going to use the looper. But what I like to do when I'm doing uh, the looper and I'm using these third-party things, the keyboards and samplers and stuff like that, I actually like to program it as a MIDI, okay? I like to program it. So let's go ahead and find this key. What is that, B3 or something? B5 maybe? Let's see. Let's see. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. Let's find it. That's A. Yeah, there we go. So I like to, to actually um, record it. All right, as a MIDI. But what we're going to do is, let's uh, double this so I got enough space. So now I got eight bars instead of four. Let's go. So the reason why I like to do that is now when I'm going to go into the looper, now I just got that. And it'll go on cue. And I got that running into my Apollo, and it's looped. 
like an audio loop. So let's make sure that it's in there. Let's make sure it's in there. I want to see the sample readout on it. It's saying I can add some more volume to it, so I will. Let me turn that up. I got a little, little room with it, so I'm going to add some more volume to it. It's going to sound loud when I'm recording it, but once we, it plays back, you'll see what I'm saying. All right, so we got to activate it. Go. <laughs> So we good. Usually I'll add an extra bar so I can get that fade out if I want to use it some later. Um, but I just didn't do it this time. So it's in there. I want to make sure I got it. So I'm going to solo that. Actually, let me uh, mute this. That was the MIDI track. Okay. There we go. There we go. It was filtered out. There we go. So it's in there. All right, I'm good. If I want to keep it as a, if I want to keep it in the live looper, I can, or I can sample it. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the pad as a sample and just trigger it from there. But right now, I got what I needed. So all those effects on it. That's why I like using things like uh, third-party hosts like Complete Control. So I put this effects rack on it from Sound Toys. So that's where I got the reverb, that ghostly reverb and stuff. And it's just following Arcade. So I can use arcades effects, which I did. I added the old cassette, which is the saturator and uh, pitch modulation on it. And then I sent it through that to give like this ghost effect. And the both of them together, I get this. in there I like what it sound like so I'm gonna save it now it's locked in there boom done hey hey mm. I felt real 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 90s today so yeah I just wanted to go ahead and show some of the features of the S2400 while I was testing out all this equipment to, to, to give videos and stuff like that. And I just realized I didn't even turn the lights on. I got a lot of equipment in here that I'm just not using. But anyway, I just wanted to go ahead and show the S2400 while I was doing that. Um, I hope you, you got something from it. I thought it was pretty cool, pretty cool device. Like I said, it's by far the most fun device that I, I use. It's the most fun to work on. Take time, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, I've started putting up a lot of videos uh, of my force s2400 and computer using dolls and stuff like that this is going over basic and some some advanced uh, production stuff uh, it's not going to be just me pitching you to sell you something um, i want i want to build a community where we talking back and forth and discussing techniques and all that stuff so that's the end goal so make sure you subscribe follow me on facebook at a1 made the beat or on Instagram at A1 Made the Beat. Actually, I'm at A1 Made the Beat everywhere, but those are the two platforms that I mainly use. So, all right, I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.